Hey guys, it's been long that I uploaded any video. Today's video is about a new Python package that eases satellite data processing. So let's jump into it without wasting too much time. If you search for PyRSGIS in Google, here you see PyRSGIS at PyPy website. Click on it. This is the official uh, Python packaging index website. You can use this command to install it in your PC. I have written it for processing satellite data directly from tar files without extracting them. Sample codes are given here. Let's start by installing it. downloaded it already so it's installed for my pack Python version open your Python console I've kept sample data sets here this is the one from Landsat TM5 and this is Landsat 8 create a new file define your file name you don't have to do this again and again you can always run them in loop so now data is equals to irsgis dot read dot file save and run the script so it ran without any error let's start by printing the number of rows and columns you can do that so easily you can also see the number of bands in the thing satellite image you can also see which satellite it is and if you are able to do this then data dot band index shouldn't be a problem now if you want to extract any band let's say for example I have to extract red band and data dot get band red band is 3 which is the case in Landsat 5 Now that the band has been exported, you can check the type, it's a numpy in the array. You can get the shape of that band, which is similar to the row and column that we got earlier. So similarly, you can get different bands and perform indices like NDVI, NDPI, WI and so on. But uh, some of the indices are given already. Let's say for example, you have to calculate NDVI. So you can simply do data dot NDVI. Once you compute the NDVI, you can export it directly using data dot export. You have to assign which array you want to export. Another thing that you want to do would be the file name NDVI dot if. So by default, ARHAS exports raster in integer data type, whereas NDVI is a float data type. So you can explicitly define it here as D type equals to float. The default is integer because integer takes less space on this. You can see it's exported here. NDVI. Now if you go to QJS.
as you can see the NDVI is here with values from negative 0 0.024 to 0.5 and here you have NDVI from inserted also. Similarly, you can automate and calculate NDVI for a uh, number of satellite images. Let's say if you have 10 different satellite images, you don't need to extract all of them and then calculate the NDVI manually for each of them. You just have to run this 5, 7 lines of code and your uh, stuff is done. 12 lines, 2 gaps, and lines. One quick thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, once you read the data using PyRSGIS.readDAR and extract any band, say NDVI or any other band, red band, blue band, green band and so on, you can always use the display command to see it as a as an image, as a map and then you can export it directly from there. You can also give map title, something like NDVI, onset 8, you can write a radian or something, I'll leave it for now. As you can see, there's this figure with the title, with the scale, with legend, and everything. You can also use the zoom. Once you have zoomed in and you are reasonably happy with this, you can save the figure directly from here. Thanks for watching this video.